A sewer line blockage has prompted the Carroll County Jail to take a closer look at what its inmates are flushing. News 18 Samantha Tiki reports on what the jail is doing to keep their sewer lines from affecting the city of Delphi. It's a problem Carroll County Sheriff Tony Burns says has been happening since the jail was built. Inmates uh, flushing items down the stools and going into the sewer systems that they're not supposed to. Sheriff Burns says the inmates flushing things like candy wrappers and towels, backup sewer lines, and the repairs cost the jail. But an incident in August cost not only the jail, but the city of Delphi too. Uh, it actually had gotten uh, about a block or so maybe a half a block from the facility and and uh, clogged up the sewage system. This time the city of Delphi had to get involved. Utility Superintendent Dick Van Sickle says the city attempted to clear the blockage but eventually had to call a plumber in costing the city more than $2,300 to remove an orange inmate jumpsuit from the line. Sheriff Burns says he knew something had to be done to prevent the issue from spreading into the city. And they've attached, uh, attached a large three-prong hook that actually sets down inside the drain to catch anything that the inmate might flush. The jail spent more than $2,900 to install a hook system to keep the problem from spreading beyond the jail. Sheriff Burns says due to staff error, the inmate responsible for flushing the jumpsuit in August won't be caught, but he says the new system will tell them which inmate flushed an inappropriate item. They could face possible criminal uh, mischief charges, um, and then they also can uh, be written up on a jail rule violation. However, Sheriff Burns says if the hook system proves ineffective, the jail could eventually invest in a $33,000 grinder system. But Sheriff Burns says jails in the area have had success with the less expensive system. We're hoping that it works. Uh, they've just been installed uh, just two days ago, so time will tell. In Carroll County, Samantha Tiki, News 18.